Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the very first day that I'm back on YouTube after the summertime. I have missed you guys so much. For some reason, it feels like I haven't filmed in so long, but actually, I just haven't filmed in my room in so long, and all I have been doing is editing the last couple of weeks, so this is the first video that I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things. I'm gonna start getting ready while I'm talking because we're gonna be doing something really fun in about an hour. These first few weeks of September are definitely one of my favorite times of year. They always feel so special and just kind of like a fresh start. It is just such a good time, and I'm so excited for this week ahead. Just to give you guys a really quick update on my life recently i was just traveling throughout europe for three weeks including bulgaria which is my home country and i did vlog that entire trip which i'm so excited about but i've just really been wanting to take my time editing some of that travel content because it was so special to film and just so excited to share those videos that i don't want to rush editing them and i also don't want to miss out on posting fall content so i am going to be uploading those videos a little bit slower but i am so happy to be home and just had the most incredible experience traveling you guys might have noticed me saying this a lot before i left but i feel like prior to this trip I did just feel a little bit stagnant in my routine and my day-to-day -day life I just felt really confused on kind of the path that I was going on And I really feel like I just benefited from stepping out of my routine and having that time to think So that makes me so excited for this next season because I think a lot of these things that I did spend a lot of time Thinking about are kind of going to go into fruition again I will go into more specifics when I'm not rushing a little bit later in this video But I am really excited to be back on YouTube filming a weekly vlog I feel like these home vlogs are one of my favorite videos to film But I am just gonna quickly get ready because I'm doing something very exciting I'm actually gonna go and get a haircut But you guys I have been on a hair journey for the last two years ever since I dyed my hair back darker If you guys followed me about a year ago, I don't even know how long it was ago I think it might have even been a little bit longer than that I did go through a period where I went blonde with my hair and that basically lasted about a year because my hair ended up getting Very very damaged which is kind of the obvious when you are bleaching your hair and through having damaged hair, I ended up going through a series of very bad haircuts because my hair was so broken and it just couldn't sustain like a good haircut. Anyways, I have basically been terrified to go to the hair salon ever since, but going into the fall and a new season, I really want some more dimension in my hair and just a really nice haircut. And I've been noticing on my socials, a lot of people getting kind of like a 90s inspired haircut where you get a lot of layers because I think right now my ends are so heavy that it's hard for me to achieve that volume look at the top. Leading up to this haircut this week, I have been debating canceling my appointment, but I followed through and I know I'm going today and I feel like it's on theme of kind of like a fresh start that I am feeling for this fall. Definitely want to keep a lot of length because it has taken me so long to grow my hair out like this and that is kind of my fear when it does come to haircuts is going in and being like, oh, I want this much off and then it's like that much comes off. just gone back home and I'm in my comfy clothes. I put on my sweatpants literally immediately when I walk in the door. But you guys, here's the final hair. I actually think this is the best haircut that I've ever gotten. I did show her a couple of inspo photos just before we got started and I think she really did nail it. Like it is just so much fluffier and it just has so much more dimension to it. I did get my hair cut a couple of hours ago now so the blowout did fall a little bit but even now I'm so obsessed with it. I did try to go with just one inspo photo because I know when I go with so many or thinking about how that might feel, I feel like it would be so overwhelming. So I picked this photo right here and this is just kind of what I showed and obviously my hair isn't this long naturally so it won't turn out the same but it was kind of like the visual the main idea so I did ask for long layers curtain bangs that started on my chin and then just lots of dimension for that bouncy look I was so scared because I haven't been to the hair salon in so long let alone get like a full-on haircut but when I saw her working her magic and cutting my hair I was like wow okay she's got this so yeah I'm super excited about it and it was such a nice start to my week even though I've only been home for like eight days for some reason it has felt like I've been home for like three weeks already this past week was definitely very productive i just feel like i got back on such like clean and brand new energy but yeah i have been in a place recently where i feel like i'm really excited for the future and just also feeling that spark again with being creative i feel like my youtube channel does really help me with that and kind of play into it because i do feel so connected on here um and yeah speaking of editing i am going to start editing right now and getting a video done it is actually labor day today and i just have this feeling about labor day every time it comes around i don't know if i should treat it as a weekend or a weekday it just feels like a little bit of both and so easy going so i'm gonna spend some time editing and just have a really 
really chill night. I feel like Labor Day is also the official transition that we are just accepting that summer is basically over. And in so many ways, I am looking forward to that because I feel so complete with that season. Summer is always such a beautiful season filled with so many memories, but I'm not gonna lie, I love fall. I'm a fall girly, so I'm not mad about this transition. If anything, I'm kind of happy. I'm just relieved to be at home and spend my days in such a relaxed way. <laughs> overall has been really nice because I feel like last week coming back from travel I was getting myself organized you know fighting jet lag just kind of using a couple of days to reset but then this week I feel like I'm finally back into routine I'm cooking I'm feeling like I'm actually getting good work done so it has just felt so refreshing and just finally feeling like I have my life routine back so it has been really nice and I've just been feeling so grateful you know about the things that I do week to week here so yeah we are good and we are thriving because I have been drinking a pumpkin spice latte every single day this week I have found literally the best creamer that I froth with my coffee but I feel like this transition of September it is just kind of like where we are letting go summer a little bit and just accepting that fall is around the corner and getting very excited about it. Speaking of fall I got a knock on my door today and I knew exactly what it was. Basically you guys I've kind of been in search for the perfect fall sneakers I also for some reason can't remember the last time I did purchase sneakers. I feel like it's been forever and when I saw these online I fell in love so hopefully I like them just as much in person but I made a little order just from Foot Locker so let's do this unboxing we're gonna see where we're unboxing it I wanted a pair of sneakers that weren't just plain white and were just kind of easy to wear something I can wear all the time So you guys I found these sneakers on the Foot Locker website and they are a pair of New Balances and they look so cute on the website So I have them here We have the inside Okay, I think they're actually perfect this is what they look like. They're this really beautiful cream color. And these are called the 574 Core. So yeah, you guys can see that color inside. I feel like they're just a perfect shoe for fall. I was kind of nervous with ordering shoes online because I'm so picky with sneakers. Every time I get myself to the store, I try so many pairs on and I just find something that I don't really like about them. I feel like shoe shopping is the one thing I always need to do in person. And I've never actually seen these in person. So I'm so excited. I have another pair of New Balances and I feel like I've run them to the ground. Like I always pick them. And I have done a little bit of more fall shopping and just picked up a couple of staple clothing items because I fell in love with some pieces at Revolve. I did also bring some of these pieces on my trip to Europe, but I feel like these are just overall such gorgeous pieces that you can kind of wear all year round. I did pick them up with the intent of kind of wearing them throughout fall and winter. I feel like this might be one of my favorite tops in my entire wardrobe. It is just so gorgeous and chic. It is just this little black tube top and I did wear it one of the nights when I was in Paris and I just knew when I picked this up, this is definitely gonna be a top that, that I feel like I'm gonna have in my closet for a long time. And it is also just so flattering on. I'll do a little try on portion for you guys. Again, definitely one of my favorite tops in my closet and something that I'm so excited to style in this next upcoming season. I also picked up this little cropped sweater by the brand Tula Rosa and it is like this beautiful baby blue crochet sweater. I feel like this is the perfect transition sweater from summer to fall or even doing like a little shoulder throw over because I feel like this crochet pattern is so gorgeous. I'm definitely going to save it to wear it in these next upcoming weeks before it gets super cold. This next top is definitely a new staple in my closet. I've already worn it several times. I feel like when I've had something for a short period of time and I can't stop wearing it, that's when I know I'm like, these are the items that I need. But it is just this really beautiful top. It is by the brand Camila Coelho. It is just washed and I haven't ironed it out. So it looks a little bit funny right now, but you guys will see it again on the try-on. And yeah, I feel like just a really good collared white shirt is always needed. So uh, dress number one, I have also worn, but I'm really excited to wear this in the fall as well, just before it gets super cold. The very first thing is this mini dress. I feel like this is so pretty for an occasion you might have coming up in like September or even October, just with some black heels. You guys will see again in the try-on, but it basically just has this little wrap around on the neck and it's just this two-tone with black and white. I don't know, I feel like it just has this classy feel to it and a very timeless feel. Another dress that I picked up, I was really in need of a good black dress and I love this piece because it is so classic. I feel like again, I'm gonna pull for it all the time and I can have it in my closet for years, but it is this little lovers and friends dress. Um, This is a neckline. I feel like you guys can see I've really been loving just fun necklines recently. Something I always love about Revolve pieces is that I can never go wrong with the material. It's double lined and super thick, so I feel like it just gives it that structure. So yeah, again, I feel like if you don't have 
have a really good black dress in your wardrobe that is this length this is such a perfect piece okay very last thing is another great staple again this can be styled in so many ways it is just a full length skirt and again such great material so thick i can't get over saying that so i love this i feel like even in the fall with a really nice just classic black long sleeve and some heels i feel like that's such a simple outfit but it would complement each other so well so yeah again that's kind of the theme of this video i definitely picked up a lot of items that i know i will reach for over and over again and i feel like i've kind of been making that effort whenever i have been shopping this past year and i feel like it's just really transformed my wardrobe in the best way and doing more frequent cleanouts has also helped i've only been home for like a week and i've already done a huge major clean out of my closet and it's so funny because i feel like whenever i do a clean out of my closet for some reason it feels like i have more clothes than when i started so yeah i'm so excited about these pieces i'm obsessed and as always whenever i do shop with revolve i will have a link down below for you guys to check out so yeah you guys should definitely go check out that link and i'll also leave a second link with my fall favorites from revolve under 100 dollars. so yeah thank you so much to revolve so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little clothing haul so it is actually now the weekend it is saturday morning um and honestly you guys i can definitely say i have been loving my mornings the last two weeks or so they have been my favorite part of my day i feel like i just really took advantage of the jet lag when i got home and i just kind of embraced it and it made me so obsessed with my mornings and i feel like i've kind of created this new morning routine for myself i feel like i've realigned myself with the importance of a morning routine and i've been using this mz skin it's like a little five day regime that you use over the course of five days as you can see i've already made it pretty far but it is so cool it is these little glow boosters and since they're glass you basically break off the top like this and then you have this amazing serum and i've been loving these just post travel again i feel like my skin whenever i come back from travel is just not the same and i've actually noticed such a big difference using these over the last couple of days i make sure it kind of soaks in and then i'll just go over top with a moisturizer and then that's it for my skincare but yeah it has been so nice when i first got home i would go to sleep at like i don't even know 9 10 p.m honestly earlier even like 8 or 9 and then i would wake up between 6 and 6 30 and i would just be up and awake and starting my day and i just love that feeling i'm not being rushed in the morning and really being able to enjoy each step that i do so my goal is to definitely implement that in the next upcoming weeks i really want to stay on track with it because i would just be in the best mood for the rest of the day i'm gonna go in with a little bit of tower 28 moisturizer and i've also been using a new planner ever since i got home that i actually ordered while i was still away i'll show you guys that in a little bit but i've been obsessed with just keeping track of my to-do list and just kind of thoroughly enjoying my days last night was friday night and i basically just spent it editing and finishing up a video that is what my weekends usually look like and i feel like sometimes with social media you look online during the weekends i was actually just listening to a video about this i feel like sometimes with social media you can look online or go on your socials and you know people look like they're having the busiest weekends doing a million things and as great as all those things are i feel like at the same time you just kind of have to do what's best for you and just not feel any pressure that you should be doing something else i think your time is your time and spend it doing the things that make you the most happy as i'm literally going to do laundry and clean my room but i was just watching a video by maggie mcdonald and she was actually just talking about that and as i'm sitting here it's saturday morning and last night was super chill for me and i feel like my weekends normally look like that or i'm spending time with friends and family i just really resonated with that and i wanted to share it on here as well so i'm just bringing this new tank top i actually just took the tag off of it but i recently went to h&m i actually only ended up picking up this tank top and i realized that their basics are so good it is just a basic black tank top but they had like all colors and they didn't have my size in the white and the gray but i know they had a few other colors so i need to go pick up a couple but yeah other than that i feel like i'm gonna have a pretty chill day um also you guys i'm just looking at this candle i purchased the other day i have a lot of recent purchases because like i mentioned i cannot get enough of fall but i also went to winners the other day and marsh it smells so good i picked this candle it is by dw home and it is the trick-or-treat flavor i don't know if it's gonna focus but this literally smells so good it smells like vanilla and fall so yeah i have been burning these so much and my goal is to actually fully burn them this fall and then i might have to go to bath and body works this week and restock on a couple more candles but these candles literally bring me so much joy because they literally smell exactly like fall in a candle so i'm gonna burn this one and then i'm gonna tidy up a little bit because i just love that feeling when monday rolls around when everything is tidy or even sunday which is tomorrow i can kind of just relax and not worry too much about getting anything done because i am also going to be out for the entire day tomorrow <laughs> so i just finished up making my breakfast i feel like i've had such a fixation on the same breakfast every single morning it is amazing and i can't stop making it i feel like it's the only thing i crave now but i'll show you guys what it looks like it's basically just scrambled eggs half an avocado and butter toast with hummus it is literally perfect i'm so excited to eat it right now and i also feel like it's a pretty filling breakfast for me because i put the egg on the toast so this is what i'm going to be having this saturday morning but like i was talking about earlier i have been loving my mornings and i've been doing something super quick every morning that i feel like has actually made such a big difference it's made me feel 
so good for the rest of the day and I like to call it my wellness moment. So basically the very first thing I do is fill up a large cup with half hot water and half cold water. Honestly, I could have done more boiling water. Oh my gosh. This water didn't even boil. One second. So that was not a part of my wellness moment, but I'm gonna reboil the water and then I'll show you guys actually what I do every morning. Okay guys, so we are officially back and we're better. We have our actual boiled water. So I have half my glass with cold water and then I just fill it up to the top with boiling water. And then we're gonna fill that up. I have my vital proteins, collagen peptides. So I'm just gonna add one scoop of that into my water. Cut that. So with the little drink that I just made, I'm basically going to take all my vitamins. Why I like to call this my wellness moment is because I feel like it is just a moment and it takes me five minutes out of my morning to do this. I feel like it's really the only wellness stuff that I do. Like I don't take any other supplements or, or you know, do anything crazy. But I feel like these five minutes make such a big difference in my morning and then translate throughout the day. I take magnesium, black seed oil, vitamin C, um, and then I also take vitamin D3. And I also feel like drinking a lot more warm water throughout the day has really helped with my digestion. And yeah, I'm going to finish up my vitamins and then I'm all good for the day. I am actually moving this space of my room into a different room. I'm kind of just in the planning stages right now, but it is really bittersweet because the room that I currently have has been my room for so many years, and I feel like I've done the most growing up in that room. And the next room that I am going to be moving into is still my parents' house, but it is definitely going to be the last room that I'm going to have before I have my future apartment. But I feel like even for filming and content, it is going to be a lot better because I have so much more natural sunlight coming into this room. And I haven't had natural sunlight in my room for so many years, so, so I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like I'm in a place right now where there are gonna be a lot of changes. And yeah, it really does make me happy because I feel like this past year, there were a couple of months where kind of more stagnant and figuring out things. So yeah, I feel like I'm just in a really good place going into this new season. Also, you guys, I'm not sure how long this video is, but I am putting in more of an effort into creating longer form content on my YouTube channel. The reason why is because I feel like my videos usually fall short under 15 minutes and I've done some reflecting and I feel like the YouTubers that I watch and I love, their content is usually over 20 minutes. And I feel like that leaves more space for connection and just kind of freely talking instead of the videos being a quicker pace. So if you've made it this far and you can let me know if you've enjoyed this type of longer style video. And if you do, I'll make sure to make my videos quite longer in the future and just kind of continue the style on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I feel like I've done a lot of talking, but because I was just filming for like another 20 minutes. So I am going to end off this video here and this little vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm so happy to be back on YouTube and kind of having a group of things again. Bye-bye. Say bye, TV.